Hey guys, Dietrich Kranik here. And as you can see, I have a lot of microphones right now. I got a new toy. The Samsung Q7 microphone. And I'm gonna compare this new microphone uh, to everything else what I have available right now, besides having a couple of microphones back there. Dig and we too deep to get them out. The point of this video today is what to use in which situation, like field recording, live streaming at home, recording some YouTube stuff, or doing interviews in a really loud environment where you have a lot of background noise. And this is just to show you what to use when and how to get like really good sound for cheap. I know this thing is a bit quiet right now, but you will definitely hear it if I turn up the gain. You get some background noise and you get my voice in a decent quality. You hear me right now on the lavalier mic. This is it. The iRig Smartlove lavalier microphones for smartphones. It requires an adapter to work on normal hardware because it has a four pin connector, three and a half millimeter jack. And this microphone is around 50 euro. It's cheap, it works fine, and it's good for field recording. It's good for everything where you just put it out, plug it into your smartphone, and you're good to go. There is not much to do, and it's really light. This is a carrying case, you can have it everywhere, every time on you, where you just go around with your smartphone. You don't have to record with your smartphone, you can use this thing. The drawback is... Cable noise. Yes, when you move the cable, when you move with the microphone, you will hear that. Also, it records everything around you. Like, everywhere. And moving with the t-shirts or like everything that you have will get you some noise. Also, just for the sake of comparing it, a mechanical keyboard in the background. You can definitely hear it. The mixer that I'm using right now is a Yamaha AG03. It will be used for all the microphones and I will put all the stuff that I use, all the hardware, into the description of the video. You can also ask me questions there, so you can get an idea and get an answer from me if the question is interesting. Yeah, I read YouTube comments, but I don't answer everyone. So let me just switch the microphones from the lavalier to the headset microphone on the HyperX Cloud One. Test. Yep, it works. So let me just bring it a bit closer. This is how you actually will use it, but as you can hear, it's loud. It might be clipping. So if the sound cuts off, uh, this is a mixer jumping in, uh, preventing damage. There is a built in limiter, and e you hear the main problem is pop sounds. Pop. You, you definitely hear that. You can move the microphone sideways uh, to avoid that, but your voice loses all the low end and it loses some clarity. It works. This thing is cheap. This thing is a good backup microphone. This thing is a good beginner microphone if you already have it, because there is no reason to pay, pay for this when you have a headset that you can use. What you definitely want to do is get a good mixer or a sound card, something that can actually work well with the microphone. Because if you plug this thing on in your motherboard, in your onboard sound, you will definitely regret it. It sounds way worse on onboard. Believe me, I tested it. Nope. Good gear is the way to go. The microphone itself can be cheap. You have to have a good mixer or a good audio interface to get the sound into your PC. Again, HyperX Cloud One, 
mechanical keyboard. You can definitely hear it. It's not as loud as with the lavalier microphone. And by the way, I forgot to show you the lav microphone while talking. Uh, this is it with an adapter. It's a pretty long cable, like one and a half meters or something. And this is a connector for smartphones. So you need an adapter to use uh, this one. But most of them come with a regular three pin connector, just a stereo microphone. So this was a headset mic. It works, but you definitely need a good mixer behind it. The next one is this Samsung Q7. Let me just switch the microphones. <coughs> yep, there is something. Uh, let me just turn it up a bit. So right now you hear me on the Samsung Q7. This thing, it's decent. You have some text packs here, but you can uh, read them online. I will definitely link it. Uh, German store, but in most pages are in English, so it's definitely fine. Let me actually unplug this thing. Eh, don't hear it anymore. <sighs> what to do with this microphone first? Talk into it. Don't talk sideways talk into it. The second one, keep your distance. Keep your distance, otherwise it will sound way, wo way worse. You have to eat it. This thing has some issues, but it's a good microphone, especially like the grip sounds. When you move your hand, it's good. The capsule is actually isolated and uh, pretty well balanced. It also has some foam inside, so you don't get a lot of uh, breathing sounds and pop sounds. It's definitely nice. For 29 euros, definitely a recommendation. I did not expect this thing to perform as well as it does, knowing that I have a way better condenser mic sitting right next to it. So when to use a microphone like this? Uh, everywhere where it's loud, everywhere where you have to record sound directly from somebody talking or somebody just doing interviews, what whatever you want in a loud environment, like DreamHack, CES, any expo, any event where you have to talk to people, this is the way to go. If you're on stage, this is the only way to go. Don't use a condenser mic, don't use anything else, a dynamic, microphone will work the best, especially hypercardioid. The sound signature is uh, the best because if you talk into it sideways, you hear the, the, the difference. It's easy to explain. It's way easier when you hear it. It will not get a lot of feedback, so you can actually use it with speakers running next to it, everything else. It does not matter. This thing is indestructible, pretty much. It's really heavy. And it's a good all-rounder. You can use it everywhere. You can use it for YouTube commentaries. You can use it for live streams. But for live streams, you definitely want a good mounting solution. I have it. i just not going to use it. And this was my phone making noise. So it's not picking up as much background noise as expected. Again. Mechanical keyboard. You can hear it, but it's way quieter than anything else what I have here on microphones. And this is what this microphone is best for. Let me just switch to my main microphone, the condenser one, so you can actually compare it. I know the video is getting a bit long. Deal with it. And here we go. This is my main microphone. This is my condenser microphone recording tools MC200. 
it's a rare German microphone. I got it used, I have it for a long time and I'm peaking. I'm just uh, bringing gain down a bit. It fits my, my voice well, I like it, this is why I got it. It has the best quality and it's also the most expensive one. It requires the most accessories, you see a stand here, you see a shock mount and you see a pop filter here not included well the shock mount is but on some microphones it's not on most of them it's not you have to pay extra also the cable mm -mm. no cable in the box you have to buy it so the first drawback from this microphone is expensive the second one is it's heavy it's bulky and you're not gonna move it around it's just for your home recording home studio live streaming setup this is where it belongs and the third one is it requires power a lot of power 48 volts uh, phantom power it's a standard but it's not on every device you have to have a mixer with 48 volts or an audio interface or a preamp otherwise this will not work we have some jerky stuff like 15 volts forget this this is definitely the microphone for a studio if you want to do some professional commentary or if you want to live stream on a really good uh, level like where you actually go for quality not just yo here I do some live streams go check it out no if you want to do it on a good professional level get a condenser microphone and don't go for USB microphones because they have a lot of issues. First, you can't really expand the setup. Second, you need a PC or a laptop to work with them. This thing works on a mixer. You can plug your camera, your smartphone, whatever you want into the mixer and route it this way. You can extend the cable, do whatever you want. USB, it's USB. No USB, paperweight. That's it. I really like it. I just like it. I know some people hate this bulky thing being in the camera all the time. But you definitely need it. Again, don't talk sideways. Don't lean back. You have to keep the distance from the microphone. You have to learn it. How to use the microphone properly, like how to stay at the same distance all the time when you stream. When you jump around, when you just like scream, when you throw headphones around and stuff, this might not be the best microphone for you because the sound will change a lot when you move further away. Like when you just lean back, it's harder to hear you. And when you go away like two feet, nope. So the mechanical keyboard test. You can definitely hear it well, even while talking, it's uh, always present in the background. There are microphones that deal a bit better with uh, sounds in the background, but uh, generally a condenser mic will record pretty much everything that you can hear in the room. It will be heard by the microphone too. So there are ways around this, uh, you can ask me in comments how to avoid it or how to deal with it on the software or on the hardware level. I always recommend hardware, but hardware is expensive. So that's it. Tell me guys what you think about the video. I know it's a bit boring, it's a bit long, but audio is always like that. When you talk about audio, it's always a long topic. And I hope you like it. Tell me which microphone uh, sounds the best for you. Tell me how do you actually think about this microphone for 29 euros again. This was like 70 new with all the accessories way above 100. Uh, the Lavalier microphone was 50 euros and the headset with the microphone was uh, also like 50 euros or something uh, because it's the first one. The second one was a bit more expensive. So thank you for watching. Uh, 
press like, subscribe if you like the content, and definitely leave a comment if you have questions, I actually read them. See you guys.